Good morning, guys. Just starting it off here with Bronte. So we're going with Kira today to her lesson. Um, so I just thought I'd come up early and get Bronte lunged so I can get straight back to that college grind later. Yeah. But thank you for joining us. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Welcome. And we'll catch up with you later. Hello guys, we're on the way. I'm a little passenger princess this morning. Good morning. I haven't a good morning yet. Oh, sorry. Do you want the breakfast? She's driving. She's very concentrated. She's eating her yogurt and granola. And then she's gonna have a banana for optimum potassium. Oh, yes. I don't know if she's I gonna have a banana. And everything, I did, but Kira likes really ripe bananas and these ones aren't. Or no. Is Un it really ripe? Unripe. She likes a green banana. And these ones are like perfectly ripened. So I don't know if she's gonna eat it. Oh my god. Sorry. It's really hard living like, with a diva. Like Bronte. <laughs> Picky eaters unite. <laughs> um, so we're en route. We're 20, 16 minutes away. 16, I, I meant to say. We'll give it 20 with the box. I'm gonna go for 18 just to be <laughs> different. Um, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful morning. I'm not gonna say anything else about the weather because you know the way it likes to listen to you and do the opposite. She has no idea what kind of lesson this is. If it's I'm jumping, hoping so jumping, cross country. I think I'm dressaging there to be honest. I'm dressaging well. I'm just gonna sneaky get where I can and hopefully just capture, capture the mood. Take some notes. Take some notes. Put them on a spreadsheet for everyone. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll uh, categorize them. I've been really good at spreadsheets with my dissertation. So, yes, thank you. Color coded and everything. Excel? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I hate Excel. Jesus. My, my dad's been helping me. Has he? Um, Do you know all the shortcuts, the cheat, co the cheat codes? Absolutely not. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm very slow. It's really. <laughs> Give me two to two to four months to get this spreadsheet out to you guys. Hope that's okay. So this is Kira's friend from work. So she was like, "Do you want to come join me for a lesson?" And I said, "Absolutely." <laughs> we I'll take all the tips from the five-star event writer. Of course, we I will. Just came back from Cronenberg. Yeah. Very well. So that's that's the story. We'll see you guys when we get there, or maybe just me. We'll see how the. I'll get some videos getting I think ready. It's gonna be early, so. Perfect. We have time to vlog for it. Cheers. Okay, hello. Voice over time. So we were just walking around, having a bit of warm up. I'm showing her the mirrors, the first time she's seen them. She kept putting her ears back every time she passed the mirror because she thought it was another horse really close to her. But it was just herself. Anyway. <laughs> um, just walking around, warming up. Yeah, just doing a bit of um, this was just before she came down to the arena. So we just, you know, I was chatting around thinking we're doing really well. <laughs> and then Sarah comes down and <laughs> tells us everything we're doing wrong. No, no, in a really nice way, in a great way. So this was a little clip of me weaving in and out of um, trotting poles. She said it's a great thing to do at the start of um, a warm up. She said, because Leah is built so downhill, basically don't trot in straight lines. Have her bending and twisting and turning and turn the forehands and serpentines and loops. Have her constantly bending so she's getting her hind leg in underneath her and not falling onto the forehand. Um, here she asked me to leg yield away from the fence and counter which was something I didn't know I, we were able to do, but we, we managed. <laughs> yeah, basically because she set up the flat, she is hanging on my right rein, the right shoulder is falling in, and I have nothing in my left rein. So basically everything we did, did in the warm up was to get her off my right rein, basically. 
I think we want to jump in. We did this a lot of times in Trot. She told me to sit a little further out coming into it. The first time I came through, I sat just in front of the fence and she said, no, sit further out. So the horse decides when to jump. You know, if I rise and then sit, it's like she's waiting for me to tell her when to jump. Um, <laughs> here's me trying to fix my jumping position. She said I've a uh, hunchy back, so a very tight lower back. It's quite straight over the fence. So she was trying to get me to um, soften and bend more over the fence, which I found really hard. <laughs> I felt really silly. Um, it's obviously a really hard habit to change your jumping position, but I gave it a go. And um, here, what are we doing? Little mini course. Yeah, so she knocked, told me to circle there because I was on the wrong leg. And come around to this black jump again. This was a bit of our enemy, this jump. It was one we kept knocking. Oh, we didn't knock that time. <laughs> um, then, yeah, into a little bit of a course. We strung a few fences together. That was a nice five strides. Through the one sided double. Yeah, there we are, starting to knock this fence. She basically told me to um, just not let her get long. That last like two strides out from the fence. She's big, she makes the distances, so I need to hold her and not let her get long just before the fence because when she gets long, she gets in the forehand and that's when she knocks. a big one there so I had to really sit her up for the five strides which she did quite nicely and then oh, we both got confused as to where I was going here so I came around into this one strided double it's a little bit messy I lost as she changed leg on the turn there that's another thing she really emphasised was it's all it's, it's all about the turns again like jumping is basically all about the flat work, um so I lost her shoulder there on the turn and she changed legs and it was a little bit scrappy, but she did it anyway. I asked her to. She's very honest. There again I was pushing her, um just in front of the jump I was putting the leg on and again I know Commander Jeff Curran told me not to push her at the bottom of the fence because she'll just knock it. She's not quick with her legs. Good that was girl. quite nice to end. Then she told me last minute to swing back left to just jump this one again and try to get her to clear it. Because she was a fan of knocking it. So I went a little bit wider on the turn and I just didn't push. I just waited for the stride to come up. Which was much nicer. Guys, the sun is amazing. Absolutely stunning. They've just finished up. I tried to get as many little clips as I can, but God, it was a, I nearly... It, just, it was over an hour anyway, so they're wrecked. Um, but it was great. So much uh, kind of flexibility and stuff, warming up and then all the jumping as well. So it was super to watch. I learned so much. And in the sun as well. What more could you want? She's exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. Thanks, Mike. Go on. Yeah. I should do her tongue thing. Go on, have another drink. It was very hard work. You need to hydrate. enough one one sip and done so we're just in the car we're doing our little debrief um i was just saying to Kira how much i took from that from just watching as well so it was a really really uh interesting lesson uh, the amount they did on the flat before they even got to the jumping i'm exhausted <laughs> leah's even more exhausted <laughs> right she's like again <laughs> the before the after the uh I think it was after you just finished warming up or you were about to canter on the other end or something and she, she was in the middle just like <gasps> <laughs> I was like the poor little woman um, but I was just saying to Kira when uh, in college we did a master class and straight away after your little session with the woman she got you to pick like she was like okay pick five points or three points that you're taking away from this straight away so it's fresh in your head and you've got like a list off that you can like take because i think it's really easy to just forget things yeah. and, oh that was um so i had just asked kira that question i write it down in my donkey diary my donkey, donkey diary journal. hope everyone has a donkey diary <laughs> 
I love that. Not everyone has a donkey. But perhaps they don't. But you don't need to have a donkey. You can just have a donkey diary. Uh, back to the back. Sorry, back on track. So, Kira, would you like to tell us your five My points? Takeaways. Your takeaways. And um, takeaway, yes. Yeah, so it, it, it all basically stems on to her being on the forehand, which we knew, and leaning on the right rein. So, what I'm gonna take away tips and pointers she gave for that. <clears throat> um, so, whether I'm on the left or the right rein, in trot, canter, whatever pace I'm in, I'm riding from pushing her right side into my her left right side into my left rein. So it doesn't matter whether I'm on the right rein or the left rein. I'm just constantly pushing her weight trying into to get my her left jaw. Rein. Was that in that point as well? Oh yeah, yeah. So push her and yeah, soft. I I I carry her in the right. So I lock my hand. I lock my whole arm to carry her to try to straighten her up. But I need to. She needs to do that herself. So I need to like move my hand, move my ring finger, drop her with my right hand so until she straightens up and just carries herself. Um, we did the walking in and out of, uh, she said like a trotting pose basically. I think I got a little clip of it. Did you? Yeah. Um, yeah, just trotting pose, but wait, she told me to weave, like in walks, weave in and out of them. She should be able to, and I should be able to turn her basically just with my leg. So I put my inside leg on, I say move off it, and you should turn around. Um, and that gets her supple both ways and stepping under and using herself. So definitely doing that, like a bit of a turn on the forehand in the warm up. Um, leg yielding again and trot and counter and walk both reins um, just to move her weight into my left rein and soften the right rein um, jumping I need to watch my turn it's all, it's, all just, it's all flat work, it's all about the turn when I make a good turn and I have her in my outside rein it comes up really nicely when it's a bad turn I'm just launching at them um, and then just not letting her get long, she said she makes up the distances really easily don't let her get long just in front of the jump um, she gets a bit uncareful and kind of knocks so just keeping her up and together yeah so much and so much more you know there's so much yeah like there was a tip about the draw reins to do with oh yeah uh, which is really interesting I thought yeah using a draw rein on, on one side so her right side is her bad so side so she's basically locking and not moving from yeah. what I heard she's not like flexing to the right yeah and her jaw is locked and flexing from the pole. I never understood that when she showed me. She just she moved her head. Like she said she should only be bending from here. Like doesn't have to be like a whole neck. Yeah. She should just be flexing from her jaw basically. Um we can then, we can show more of in another video, I'm sure. We can do some Yeah, we have the draw reins. We have the leather ones that detach yeah. them, don't we? Yeah. So she was saying just to use one of the draw reins on the right side. So and she can't lean because she'll obviously just slide through it. Yeah. So, um, and don't use your rein at all. Yeah. And then the other thing I thought was really good from watching, um, she asked Kira to like line up her shoulders or direct her shoulders where she wanted uh, Leah's shoulders to be. And I thought that was really, from watching, it seemed to work really well with the two of you and she really responded to it. Um, which is like a simple kind of simple fix as well. Like and yeah. it's it was really effective, which is cool to see. Yeah. And a little sugar cube or a polo before you ride. Because her jaw is quite like dead and locked, that it encourages them, it foams them up, but it also like gets them moving and their mouth and chomping. She just kinda said she was just like hanging on the bit like a bit of a fish on a hook, just like uh and a locked jaw. She's like she <laughs> She did that in the middle of the year and I she was like Ugh. <laughs> um but I didn't even realize that. She's like, yeah, like the bits hang in half the way out the right side of her mouth. So of course, like a dressage judge is gonna see that. Yeah, it's really obvious that she's yeah. hanging on the right rein. So yeah, uh, like a polo mint or a sugar cube or something, just encourage them to move their jaw. Yeah, loosen them, loosen, loosen up just, just before you ride. I don't know if you said that. Yeah, um, really clever. Was that really yeah. There's like so much. I took so much. I took little ideas, especially from the other girl who was in the lesson. Her horse is kind of more similar to Bronte. So I took a couple of ideas from what they were doing. Um, so it's always good watching and learning. It's always it's great. So it's never a waste. Yeah, it is. If great. anyone of my lecturers are watching this, it wasn't a waste that I came <laughs> in this morning. You no, know, talking too much about it. Anyway, so that's the little update. Uh, Did you have lectures today? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just I'm going to the library straight after yes. this. Everyone, I'm going to the library straight after this. Hold her accountable. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, um, so that leaves Kira feeling great for yeah. Have Sunday. you told them already? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Sunday. So I'm going to. I didn't check the stairs. Should I pass there? What should I do? She's actually really brave. She didn't even look at them. I think she's flying she the water is, tray. Like she's so brave. She was like, Whoa. she have said that for it. Yeah. She just like has she's such a level up. head. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go to Colossary on Sunday. Just unregistered jumping. I'm gonna do the 90, and then go in and do the meter. Yeah. I need to eat something. <laughs> I tried to get Kira to eat a banana. I was like, are you sure? You know, a little bit. You're gonna want it when you're riding. It's so self-sabotaging because I know like halfway through my riding, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. But my tummy is so like, ah. You just have to force yourself. Beforehand, yeah, I just hard. can't do anything. The smoothie works pretty well. I put like oats, That's a, a banana, idea, yeah. some fruit, yogurt into a smoothie. I can get that in. There you go. If, if Y Food would like to sponsor. <laughs> this is becoming a running theme. I need something that I can Here, need sustenance. put in my body before I compete. So. I've kind of mastered the art of force feeding myself. I just can't do it. I can't. I mean, I only, sorry, it's only banana. Like, that's all I need. Yeah. I don't have nothing more than a banana. Like fry. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. It's hard. It is hard. It is hard. Yeah. Mental, mental bubble. Once I eat, I feel like we should be pretty good for Sunday. Um, or even a small porridge or like a little oh, the texture that day. You don't like porridge? I, I do love like porridge. I get that down when I'm feeling like that. Oh, that's very similar to banana to me. Like it's mushy. Uh, anyway, guys. <laughs> well, I'll leave this one there. What do you eat before you compete? Yeah. And so, like how? How do, how do you manage? <laughs> How's everyone doing out there? Is everyone okay? Um, but that's the story. It's been very exciting. Yeah, it's a lovely day now. It's been real sunny. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Turning a corner, guys. And the vlog is coming with us. Yeah. We've actually had some lovely, to shout out some lovely people yeah. who have been commenting and um, someone gave us a lovely shout out on Instagram as well. Charlotte Clipperton, I think, on Instagram. We, I, I'll maybe, I'll put her name up. Um, I'll put her like Instagram name up because yeah. she doesn't have YouTube, does she? Um, I don't think so. She's actually she was gonna start. She's gonna start because she has a young sister. She's gonna oh, start. Oh, Bob! There we go. So everyone, go follow her on Instagram, and then you can keep up to date with her vlogging journey. Yeah. She starts, and there's someone else as well. I can't remember their username. Has been commenting from Australia. Yeah, it's so good. We love you. Thank you so much. How's the weather? <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's a lot nicer than here. It's not too bad here now. We get one nice day and everyone loses the reason. Should we go for a swim? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just joking. She's going to the library. I'm going to the library, guys. Stop. Stop trying to distract me. <laughs> Messers, the lot of you. But anyway, just to say thank you so much and we yeah. really appreciate it. We get so excited when we get a comment during the Absolutely. We're like, see our little group chat. We're just like so excited. <laughs> um, so thank you for watching and anyone who's new joining us today perhaps thank you so much for being here please continue to follow along the journey and we love you so much so we'll check back in when we get back to the yard and feeding the horses all that jazz and all that jazz ah! <laughs> wait it might be <laughs> Cast us, modeling agencies, pick us up. New York, Paris, <laughs> Milan. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's roasting now. People back from the hack. Um, yeah, we're, I, well, I'm sweating. I put the thermals on this morning, lads. It was so cold. <laughs> and now it's so warm. It's you gorgeous. Can see how rosy I am. Um, it's lovely. Yeah, so it's clean out the stables, clean out the box now. I've had their food. I'll put some nice cooling stuff on our legs and call it a day. I'm going to the library. I'm going to say it one more time to the people in the back. I'm going <laughs> to the library. Can I be in your video walking by? <laughs> There's Jer. Hi. <laughs> oh, Jer's back Jer. again. Jer's back. Woo! <laughs> How was your hat? Stunning. Great. Was it nice? Gorgeous day. It is great. It's therapy for the soul. Yeah. Right. You can 
the day. Lots of music. This is the day. <laughs> I was gonna do like a <laughs> shoulder <laughs> upper feet. Okay, we're going. You're going. You should have seen what our legs were doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to get feed. You're going to the library. Like, comment, subscribe for more. XOXO. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.